What's up, YouTube? You checking out the frequent flyer? And I'm out here early in the morning, and I have uh, two of the uh, aircraft that I really like to fly. Um, especially now, because they both have one thing in common. They're they're both supported by deviation now. Uh, this is my X6058. Uh, I have the canopy on it from the L6052 by Lishi Toys. Uh, just because uh, Blue Spider-Man just doesn't look cool. <laughs> Spider-Man uh, doesn't look cool on this quad, even in red. But anyhow, this is the canopy from the L6052. This is my X6058, though. Now, I got this from Bang. No, I got this from Gearbest. Um, however, uh, it, it wasn't up to par as far as my other three that I got from factory are concerned, but it was an R3 board. It was an R3 board, but it still wasn't as good as the one that I have. Um, so what I did was swap the board. So this is the good board in here, X6052. This here is the HT F801. Really nice sporty flying quad. Uh, many people like this quad because it has a nice fast yaw rate. It's very sporty in flight, especially since it's um, able to be flown with a Devo with deviation firmware. So I'm actually going to put these two guys up against each other so you can see the difference uh, between the flight characteristics of these two. So let's check it out. going with the same size battery in each both the both of them have 750 milliamp hour batteries that I'm putting in them and I guess we're gonna go with the x6058 first usually a hard act to follow but let's see if the F801 has what it, what it takes to follow after this thing. And I guess you guys can let me know in the comments. X6058 first. Guess we can do some high speed passes first. We can bring it back and do some funnels. Check out the y'all read. That's the y'all. Pitch is really deep. A light breeze out here push, pushing it. I'm gonna look at this thing.
man, this thing changes direction so quick. I don't think I know of any aircraft that can change directions as quick as this thing. And come out of fast forward flight like this and then go right into a funnel with no problem. <laughs> this thing is a beast. I guess we're at LVC. Are we? I don't know. I was trying to flip it. This thing does double flips with ease. It flips so nice it can do double flips down low. <laughs> I was trying to spin around on one motor pod on the ground. I like to do that sometimes. Sometimes I like to fly under this thing. And banks really nice. Check out his side flying. The pitch even on his side flying is really nice. And you can bank it really nice. Nice banking turns there. I don't think I know of another quad that can side bank like this either. Well, the, two, the 200X can side bank like this. Really easy. Okay, time for the F3 to 1. Speed passes with it. Whoa, this thing's zipping all the way down. I don't think the power of it is uh, strong enough to support it with this deep pitch. The pitch actually isn't that deep, uh, but it's deep for this though. <laughs> the pitch it usually isn't as deep as this is without the Devo. Let's check out the yaw rate. The yaw rate is pretty good, but I guess the problem is the pitch. As far as these swinging turns, I mean, a really not nice flyer though. 
this thing flies I like the way this thing flies let's try side banking with this one I think that's the best it's going to side bank here the side uh, flying pitch isn't that great not bad though. Every time I'm flying this thing with the Devo, the Devo starts to beep after a while. <laughs> I don't know if it, that's the way they set up this protocol or what. And I know the battery on the Devo isn't low because this is a fresh battery. So maybe they have a timer set in there or something, or an alarm. I have to check it. Check out flips with this. Yep. I think it's not going to flip. Oh, there it is. Try double flip with this. It seems a little shaky on recovery though. Yep. <laughs> it did one. Let's see. Nope. Has a little problem recovering off the flips. Just because we flew under with the other one, let's fly under with this one. Whoop! Ah, that was my fault. I tried to go forward, and that makes the uh, back of back end of it lift up. No damage done, though. I wasn't flying fast enough for something to break. Let's fly under there. Oh. Well, I'm out to break it for real now. I guess let's not fly under with this one. <laughs> I don't know why when this one flips it makes it makes that horrible noise there. vibrating noise when it flips. I don't know what that is. The motors on this one might not be as powerful as the uh, motors on the... Well, they definitely aren't as powerful as the motors on the X6058. Spin around on one motor pod almost though. <laughs> Has a fast yaw. The funnel is okay. Not bad. But it sort of it, the funnels look better with this one when you funnel on an angle around the motor pod because the pitch isn't as deep as the X6058 the forward funnels don't look as good so I guess that's all there is to show with this one bring it down and that's it comparison of the X6058 
and the HT F801. Thanks for watching.